This is the historic McClure Cemetery, located in Clearfield County, Pennsylvania, just outside the little town of Kerwinsville along the Lumber City Road. It's the final resting place for some of the area's earliest pioneers who arrived here in the late 1700s and early into the following century. Among the dead here are the graves of several men who served as soldiers in the Revolutionary War. They include Nicholas Straw, James McCracken, and Arthur Bell. All were progenitors of some of the largest and most prominent families in the decades ahead. Many graves here are marked and their headstones can be easily read. Unfortunately for many others, the ravages of time and the elements have taken their toll. The last physical evidence of human existence have been lost to the ages. Like any community, there are lots of stories that could be told here. I share but a few of them. History books tell us the first schoolhouse erected in the county was located right here, built in 1803, near the home of Thomas McClure. The first burial on the property took place in 1807. The first religious services in the area were held in the McClure barn, somewhere close by. Later, the first church in the county was built here in 1809. It was said to be of the Presbyterian faith. William Bloom, my fourth great grandfather, was among the county's earliest pioneers, arriving here probably in about 1804, possibly earlier. The Bloom family is undoubtedly the most prominent name in Clearfield County. There are thousands of Blooms living in the area today, and thousands more who have passed on. The local cemeteries are full of headstones bearing the Bloom name. For more than 200 years, the Blooms have been prominent in business and civic affairs. A number of surrounding communities are named after them. I've often said you can't go anywhere in Clearfield County, to any city block, or to any country home or farmhouse without meeting a Bloom or someone who at least knows a Bloom. What's most amazing is that of the thousands of Blooms in the area, every single one of them are direct descendants of this single couple, William and his wife Mary. Indeed, their posterity now numbers in the tens of thousands. It is said there are as many as 40,000 descendants of William Bloom. Their families and far-reaching influence have spread literally to every corner of the country. Many of William Bloom's 11 children are buried here at the McClure Cemetery. The names read like the Bible and include sons Isaac, John, Peter, Benjamin, Abraham, and James. William's second daughter, Elizabeth, married Matthew Ogden, the son of Daniel Ogden, another pioneer settler who arrived in about 1796. The marriage in June of 1802 was the first one performed in the county. All three, Daniel, his son Matthew, and Matthew's wife Elizabeth, are buried at the old Clearfield Cemetery about eight miles away. Mary, another daughter, married into the Caldwell family in 1819. Her husband, Matthew, was a prominent farmer. Both are buried nearby at Center Cemetery. Also buried here are the Passmores, some of the greatest leaders and achievers in our cultural and political history are connected to the Bloom descendants through the Passmore family. They include President Gerald Ford and actor Marion Robert Morrison, better known as John Wayne. Among them as well, a local boy from Clearfield County, Bradley Kreitzer, who lost his life in Fallujah, Iraq in May of 2004. A bridge near his home is named after him. Those of us who work on family history are the chosen storytellers. We seek out our ancestors. We put flesh on their bones and make them live again. We tell their stories. To the genealogist, our work is not just the gathering of names, dates, and places, but instead, we breathe life into those who have gone before us. In finding them, we somehow find ourselves. We do this to remember, to respect, and to honor their hardships and the losses they suffered. It's about pride in what our ancestors accomplished and how they contributed to the world and to what we are today. With love and caring, we collect each fact of their existence. 
We seek to put meaning in the lives of those that came before us. We seek to remember, to preserve, and to never forget. We are the storytellers. For more information about the Bloom family, its origins, and its history, read the book, A Bloom by Any Name, written by Leroy Bloom and available at Amazon.com.